Hello, large banists. It's a nice day out. I thought I would try to explain to you the concept of a breedy. It's it's kind of so fundamental to Lajban that we don't always explain it very clearly. Um, a lot of the times you just sort of have to grok what we're talking about, but I'm going to do my best to explain it. A breedy, well, a breedy is a piece of text that expresses a relationship. It's either a relationship between multiple things, the relationship they have to each other, or just the relationship of one thing to the rest of the world. Um, for instance, something that's green, see all these nice green things? It has a particular relationship to the rest of the world that's its greenness. And we call that relationship Shrino. And that just has that just has one place. Or another relationship is spana being on top of. Like this is a table, and this is a leaf, and the leaf is spana, the table. And that's the relationship that those two things have to each other. They're related in space by one being on top of the other. So, I mean, it's sort of like, it, it's like, it's like if you, if we go to first principles, like, like Lojban is sort of, is a language made from scratch, you know, like we didn't, we didn't just take the way a language normally works, we thought sort of, when Lojban was made, uh, it was like thinking about the world fundamentally and saying, okay, we want to say stuff about the world. How do you say stuff about the world? Well, you basically need two different things to talk about the world. One thing is you need to pick out stuff in the world, right? You need to say what you're talking about. And then you need to show either some qualities of those things or how they relate to each other. You need to say something about them. So, in Lojban, that's fundamentally what a breedy is. Is it's, it's a text where we show uh, one or more things, and those are called the terbri, the tebridi. That's the third place of, of the gizmo breedy. And the terbri are, sometimes they're just a simple word that points something out, like t means the thing I'm pointing to. So if I say t, it means the table, because I'm pointing to the table. T. Or me means me. Do means you. Right? Or sometimes you can have a more complex description of something. Um, but it's still the same basic thing. You're pointing out certain things in the world. Maybe theoretical things, hypothetical things, uh, generic things. It's very broad, but basically it just means you point out some things in the world. And then you show um, a relationship between them. That's the selbri, the sebridi. That's the second place of breedy. So a breedy is a relationship, a selbri, between a set of arguments, a terbri. I don't know if that's clear. It's kind of a, it's kind of such a simple concept that it's hard to explain it. You know. But I, I hope I hope I managed to get a part get across part of the idea too. Show hope.